Hello, uh, it's 20 January uh, 2018 and it's been a while since I've done a video so I figured I'd do one right now just to show where I'm at right now. You know, I got the engine in place over the tank uh, right now. Uh, today I've been going over the new wiring harness, which is pretty much this right here. This wiring harness is a, I guess, a new style compared to what the engine came with. So I've been trying to figure out where the wires go. So I'm, uh, this white one coming up here to the temperature sensor, yellow coming down to the oil pressure. And the main thing I was trying to figure out was, you know, this wire for the starter and the wires for the alternator. So I've got those. Uh, let's see, where is that? They're right there for uh, for measuring RPMs. And then I was trying to figure out uh, the, about powering up the system because right now it's just going from you know these points on the engine to the electrical panel that's right over there but there's no power from the battery coming to the engine right now so i was just looking over that with the uh, parts catalog right here and i got a service manual right here so this was helpful because it shows uh, what color goes where so CYW and it's like yellow with white. Now the oil pressure, white with the L is blue. So trying to figure out where things go. But then uh, right here shows the battery to the starter. So I've been trying to look at that, trying to see where to connect things. But I got it figured out. So right here. This red is for the wiring harness going to the uh, the panel in the cockpit. So positive from the battery can go right there. Uh, another thing I was trying to figure out was this right here, a little ground wire at the end of this harness and I had no idea where it was and then I looked in the service manual and di different diagrams and apparently uh, it looked like it was supposed to connect to the mount for the starter. So, uh, not sure if I can get a view of it, but eh, anyway, probably not. Anyway, uh, I undid the bolt, uh, the bottom bolt for the starter. Uh, so it'll connect there. Uh, at least that wire will connect there, but then you need the ground and the positive from the battery. So the ground will connect at that same spot and the positive on the starter where I pointed out. But aside from that, you know, I got, I just showed, I, I got the parts catalog here. Uh, there's apparently like a new style, an old style uh, harness. When I got all the parts to do the rebuild, I got the uh, new harness because the old one was really bad condition. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is like right now, I don't have this plate bolted down. Uh, not right now, all the bolts and everything's right here in the corner. Um, at one point when I was putting in these uh, through holes in Seacocks, I didn't have them sealed very well and didn't think of it much of it I only saw like a little pool of water on the corner uh, you know pretty much under the floor uh, so I soaked that up and no problem uh, the last time I visited the boat was uh, maybe a month ago like four or five weeks ago and uh, I started to put the bolts back on here and I noticed water 
was seeping through the seal. So I lifted this up to look and there was a whole bunch of water in the tank. And I'd say it was about half, at least half full of water. Which I was not expecting. I didn't expect that much water in the tank. But then the bilge itself is dry, pretty much like it is now. So at least that much it shows it does hold, it holds fluids at least. Uh, so hopefully when there's fuel, it'll It'll hold the fuel and once this is all bolted down, it'll hopefully it'll be sealed well. And uh, yeah, should have a pretty good tank. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but there's still a fitting that would need to go in here for the fill hose. And I just haven't gotten to that yet. And there's a shop vac is at the house, so I'm not cleaning that up right now. But, you know, I got this quarter berth uh, cleared out, put the cushion back in there, got a sleeping bag, you know, just haven't spent the night on the hard, uh, but it's there just in case, you know, maybe I show up early and still cold and lay down for a short nap. So all the junk right here, supplies, kind of collecting in the little garage area in that quarter berth. And I've got this, this little shop manual. But right now the boat's a big mess. So I got a whole bunch of stuff right here. Got epoxy. Uh, got a new little magma grill. Hope to put that up on the stern rail. Uh, got this little space heater for when I arrive. Uh, under it is uh, bottom paint, SR60. But then I got some barrier coat over here. Uh, a little can of transducer paint. I saw something that that's supposed to be good also on propellers so thought to give that a try got a box of electrical things that's miscellaneous stuff uh, so I got little ports got you know just got a whole bunch of stuff around here another thing I've been working on lately is uh, right here uh, so just where this open space here in the quarter berth next to the switch the old VHF used to be right there so instead of moving putting a I wanted to replace it so instead of doing putting it right there again I moved it over here by the nav desk this is a model that has just a GPS um, so I figured it next to the chart table uh, was, makes a little bit more sense. So when I was here last time, I installed the RF cable coming here. So it goes up in here into the cabinetry and to a connector uh, that's in here. Let's see if I can get that real quick. And then from that connector to the radio, there, there will be another little pigtail. So I just uh, got a couple connectors there ready. I uh, got some extra RF cable here, so that will be a short pigtail. So the idea is everything in the boat will stay there. So when the mast is in place, the thinner cable uh, will come in here. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. So the thin uh, cable from the mast will come down the compression post, come out the hole on the side here, and then just a barrel connector to attach 
on the cable on the inside. Let's see if it'll come up. There it is. So, so the thin, thin through the com compression post connect to a thick cable inside the boat and then it'll go to the radio so I'd rather have it with fewer connections but uh, I think this will work out so I've got a little soldering iron here just so I can get the connectors ready but other than that not too much else going on I got a set of brakes for the trailer um, I was going to bring today but I figured I'd focus on the boat instead so today was working on the electrical I was going to work on this other little cable uh, you know, still plenty to do but it's coming along so, you know, that Aside from having a light in the back sh shining the back side of the engine, that looks pretty bright in there. But it looks good. So I just wanted to give a short update of what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, kind of hard to do anything because in the past month it's been in the 20s as the highs. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, so hopefully I'll start getting back here a little more often again hopefully the main cold weather has gone but we'll see how that goes so until next time uh, you have a good day and uh, if you're in warmer weather happy sailing <laughs>